everyone, I'm Danny, and this is Jen. We're going to talk about Warrior 2 today, Bear Madrasa 2. So Jim has a, a lovely warrior too. Um, it's important when we set the posture to be mindful of the foundation that we set. So this long stance is great. We also want to be mindful of aligning the front heel with the instep of the back foot. Helps you to keep good balance through the posture. There are a couple of things that we want to look for when we're moving into warrior two. Is the front knee tending to buckle in? Okay, so we'll see, see how Jen's knee can fall into the inside here. We want to bring the knee right in line with the middle toes of the front foot. This is going to help you to keep the front hip open. You tend to lose energy in the back of the body, so we want to keep lots of length in the spine. So sometimes we'll tend to over-exaggerate the swing in the lower back, so lengthening the tailbone down towards the floor and actually drawing the lower abdominals in to create more length in the spine. Sometimes the back arm tend to fall in warrior two. So we want to make sure that the, the back arm stays right in line with the front. Another common thing that we tend to see is the back edge of the foot will tend to kind of roll over. So we want to round the, out, the outside edge of your back foot down, root the back heel down. We want to maintain a lot of stability there. Sometimes we tend to bring a lot of weight into the, into the front leg. So we want to keep balanced action through the legs. This is going to help to build strength through the arches, through the ankles, the calves, the thighs, lots of leg strength. So to recap, we want to keep the front hip open by bringing the front knee directly above the ankle in line with the middle toes. We want to maintain the length in the spine by lengthening the tailbone down, letting, drawing the lower abdominals in. We want to soften through the shoulders, softening the shoulders down away from the ears, releasing any tension in the shoulders. We want to lengthen out through the arms, right out through the fingertips. The back heel stays rooted, the outside edge of your foot rounding down into your mat. If you keep those points in mind, you'll have an awesome warrior and you'll have a